Ah! Hey everybody, welcome to The Recoup. I'm Cooper Daniels and I'm a guy that knows a little about a lot and today it's my weekly algo rant. Let's get into it. First off, check it out. Folks, this is an example of leaning in. You know what I'm saying? More plants, folks. Pretty soon, you're not even going to be able to see me. There's going to be plants from the ceiling. There's going to be plants everywhere. It's just all plants. I am leaning in on the plants. I'm going to have to uh, give horticulture advice. This is not horticulture advice, folks. N-H-A. All right, whatever. But guys, look, it's happening. Your opportunity to buy low. God, what a delight, right? Everybody's delighted with this wonderful opportunity that has been presented us. You know what I mean? We are so happy because we have so many cash reserves to deploy, don't we? We're just a bunch of cash reserve people out here right now because crypto has been dipping, dipping and dipping, and then it just keeps on dipping. Well, here we go again. You know what I mean? Today is... Uh, Friday. I'm shooting this on Friday. I'm going to put this out Saturday morning. It's late afternoon on Friday. Algo is currently sitting at number 31 on coin market cap at 63 and a half cents, a little bit over 4 billion market cap. Not great, folks. Not great. Maintaining number 31, pretty good. Stellar's ahead. Ethereum Classic is falling behind. And uh, yeah, Monero is nipping at our heels. You know what I'm saying? Pretty soon you're gonna be able to bring Monero onto the Algorand blockchain if you'd like. We'll talk about that in a second. And also, according to DeFi Llama, we've taken a little bit of hit in TVL. It's sitting at around 169 million. It's still up 50% over the last month. So TVL is growing on the Algorand blockchain. But folks, look, these are the days because I genuinely have never been so bullish or optimistic or whatever the word you want to say about the entire crypto space. Not the entire crypto space. I'm not bullish on a lot of crap in the crypto space. Let's just look at Algorand for a second. We Earlier in the week, we got the news that FTX is now going to support Algo. That's great. Hey, FTX. Next up should be the ASA USDC. Let's do USDC A FTX. We need it. Somebody needs to do it. All right. And you're gonna be a big winner in the Algo community if you are the first major exchange to carry USDCA, okay? So I'm looking at you, Coinbase, that would be obvious. Coinbase, FTX, whatever, Binance, whoever wants to do it first, USDCA, let's do it. But anyways, FTX supports it right ahead of the Crypto Bahamas event. Crypto Bahamas event is brought to you by SALT and FTX. SALT is Anthony Scaramucci, the mooch, our guy and Bitcoin's guy, doesn't matter. But the mooch is bringing it. And if you've been watching this event, have you been Have you been watching this event? Because the faces and the names are intense. No matter what you like, you, you don't like Katy Perry, don't like her songs, doesn't matter. She showed up at this event, Bill Clinton, you know, Tony Blair. Um, it's just a crazy Nelson Rockefeller, uh, the Illuminati, all of the people showed up at the Crypto Bahamas, you know what I mean? And so from a, from a guy's perspective that is invested in the crypto space and believes that it's disrupting everything and thinks that COVID and, um, you know, all this conflict in the world is just speeding this up, it is getting real. And I'm going to talk more about this in the recap tomorrow. The recoup recap, tune in. It starts tomorrow. I'll talk more about that and I'll talk about what Fidelity is doing. But there is a massive, massive movement in the traditional finance world towards crypto and blockchain. It's insane. And Algorand is exactly what those people are looking for. All right. You know that. Anthony Scaramucci knows that. That's why we keep going. You buy the dip if you can responsibly buy the dip. But the dip could keep on dipping. I mean, let's, let's, not, let's not be crazy here. Bitcoin was at 28,000 not that long ago. It's at around 38,000 now. Another 10,000 off of Bitcoin is going to be very hard on the entire crypto space. Is that going to happen? I don't see why it should. There's no reason for it. I'm more bullish on Bitcoin these days. So I don't know what to do, folks. All I know what to do is to continue to get the yield in the Algorand DeFi. I am growing my Bitcoin bag on Algorand right now. We're going to talk about another kind of event that happened this week that we found out there's going to be another Bitcoin bridge, Flare. But anyways, 
We're gonna talk about that in a second. The point is, is if you're here right now and if you've been here for a year, this is not the time to leave. I, pr I don't promise anything actually. This is not financial advice, but this is, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere, all right? I'm not going anywhere, I'm leaning in like these plants, all right? So be like my plants, let's grow. God, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so that's that, okay? Number 31, Head of Monero and Ethereum Classic. And, uh, you know, Stellar is doing Stellar, isn't it? It's just one ahead of us at number 30. Um, all right, so what else happened this week? Okay, so I talked about the FTX listing. I talked about Crypto Bahamas and all the huge names that were there. So, okay, so yes, we got a Bitcoin bridge, a trustless bridge, a decentralized bridge. The Flare Network got a super grant from the Algorand Foundation to build a Bitcoin to Algorand bridge, a decentralized bridge, all right? It's exciting. The Flare Network has got some hype. They haven't launched yet. I think that they plan to launch on 4th of July, really. And come on, the Flare Network on uh, 4th of July. I will pull out some flares out of the trunk of my car and light a flare if they launch on 4th of July. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I don't know. The, the, today's, a, today's the day. You know what I mean? Today's the day that I kind of just go unhinged. I go rogue today, all right? Us in Algorand are very fortunate to have a protocol called Algomint. And now Algomint is a centralized bridge, which has plans to go decentralized when they deem it safe. But now you might say, I don't like centralized bridges, but if anybody was gonna conduct a centralized bridge, it's Michael Cotton and Algomint. They are a trusted member of the community. They have been custodians of precious metals in Australia for a very, very long time. So I have used them and I am relying on them, but it will be exciting to have the Flare Network build that bridge, bringing Bitcoin onto Algorand in a decentralized way. And that will also include things like Monero, like I mentioned earlier, Litecoin, XLM, XRP, so, um, and I don't know, Digibyte, is that, is that something that could happen too? I don't know, but you're gonna be able to bring all of these coins onto the Algorand network and earn the yield that I'm currently earning on different protocols like Pact and Folks Finance and AlgoFi. So the Algorand DeFi ecosystem is growing. Flare is a new member of the team. You know what I mean? I mean, they're their own thing, but they're building this bridge. And they also said that that could be scaled to connect Algorand to other layer one smart contract protocols. I mean, I imagine they're referring to things like Solana and I don't know, Cardano and all these other things. So that's extremely bullish. And then also at Crypto Bahamas, did you catch Silvio McCauley's panel? Knocked it out of the park. Of course he does because he's got the gravitas to say, to talk about all this stuff. But it was an impressive panel and it was a really interesting uh, talk. So if you, I believe the recorded, I believe that the recording is on YouTube unlisted. So where I was able to catch it, and I'm sure there's other places you can get it, right? But where I was able to get it is on um, a Twitter profile a very, very huge Algorand supporter. His name is Fred Estante. So follow him on Twitter and you'll, you'll be able to find the link to this panel. So uh, keep doing the good work of Algorand Fred Estante. I don't know his handle. I should have looked at that before I started talking, but I didn't plan to mention Fred Estante, but I did. And so follow him on Twitter and you can find the link to that talk. Now I found it to be really impressive and I mean, I, I thought near protocol, that guy was, was impressive. You know, the Solana guy is obviously, you know, pretty impressive. He's like the cool guy. He was like the cool guy on the, on the panel. And then you had Silvio. And then, I mean, honestly, the Avalanche guy underwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, his whole position is like, oh, it's gotta be EVM because it would be too hard not to be. Like, bro, you're not sounding like a visionary here. And you know, Silvio kind of was like, uh-huh. You know, and if I'm going to be reading body language, it sure, it sure seemed to me like Silvio wasn't all that concerned with the near protocol guy or the avalanche guy. He put a lot of attention on Solana, right? Every time 
He'd be like, all right, Solana, what do you got to say? You know what I mean? Okay, Solana. And then right when it was over, he went directly to the Solana guy, gave, you know, it, it seemed that he, I think there's a little bit of competition there. And we obviously know there's competition there. And uh, I don't know, man, I feel very, very bullish on Algorand and its ability to climb up from number 31. Just no, guys, like those, those other protocols on that panel near Avalanche, Solana, all of those are already up there, right? So if you're looking at an opportunity, there's an opportunity here in Algorand to climb. You actually have ground to be made up and they should, and Algorand should obviously be ahead of so many of those things that are in between them and near and Avalanche and Solana. And frankly, it deserves to be ahead of all three of those, in my humble opinion. Guys, traditional finance is moving towards cryptocurrency. It's happening. And who are they going to trust? Who are they going to trust? Are they going to trust Solana? In the end, yes, they're going to get rich off Solana. They've already gotten rich off Solana. But when it actually comes to building things, are they going to trust Solana? I mean, I'm on Twitter all the time, and it's just a bunch of complaints how transactions fail on Solana. And we all know about how often it's down. So are they really going to put the NASDAQ, like he kept on talking about, we want to build you know, the NASDAQ. You're not going to be able to do that on your shaky infrastructure. Am I correct about this? What do you guys think? And then, you know, they're going to go to Algorand and they've got Salt, they've got Skybridge, Anthony Scaramucci, you know, and all of his friends he's going to bring along with them. Last weekend, after I made my video, the Flemish Giants, man, those dudes came out with a bang. Holy shnikes. Congratulations to them. How's the secondary going? Are they selling? Because... Man, there was, people are talking about how, you know, that, that's the thing about Solana, right? Is that their NFT community is huge and they are doing massive amounts of volume. And the Algorand NFT community is smaller than that. And they're not doing as much volume. But I do believe that the um, Flemish Giants launch, I think yielded something like a half a million dollars. Um, I don't know. I mean, Algo keeps on tanking, so it might not be quite that. But it was... Uh, it was a very successful launch and it's well-deserved. Those guys are awesome and the art is so cool. So I am excited to learn more about what's on the roadmap with Flemish Giants and what they're going to do. I've got a couple and I'm stoked to have a couple. Oh, I mean, I got to put this on the video. So thank you to the Algorand community on Twitter. We got Stacy Warden. She has agreed to come on to the recoup. Thank you, Stacy. I'm looking forward to talking to you. So we haven't, had a, we haven't been able to lock down a date yet. But me and Stacy Warden are going to have a date on the recoup and we're going to talk about it. So I think that had a lot to do with the community asking for it and she's delivering just like she is delivering on the marketing push. You guys still mad about the marketing because the marketing's insane. The marketing's happening, folks. <laughs> it's happening. I mean, look, I know I mentioned it in my rant last week, but I had actually filmed that rant before it happened. And the Times Square going dark. Have you noticed that more and more publications are starting to write articles about Algorand? You got the some other YouTubers coming out of the cracks. Um, I don't know if that has to do with the new marketing agency and that's what's getting them engaged. Or if that is just because of the marketing, like the Times Square going black to um, highlight the eco-friendliness of the Algorand blockchain. Uh on Earth Day. Yeah. So I think this is the time. This is the time to accumulate and earn yield, all right? This is not the time to be selling and all of that. So I think, not financial advice. Don't do what I say, do what you think you should do. This is just information. Um, I mean, that's it, guys. So here we go. Pretty soon, if you're out there, if you're an XRP guy, I know there's a lot of XRP algo people out there. I know, I see you guys. And it makes sense. It makes sense that you know, you've know you struggled a little bit with XRP and wondering what's gonna happen. And you looked at Algo and you thought, well, okay. Or maybe you looked at XLM, that's gonna be coming to Algorand as well. You, you know, there's, there's a certain group of um, guy and gal out there that's like, okay, XRP, XLM, Algo, these are the- That's it, guys. There we go. I've got new plants. I've got a new show coming out tomorrow called The Recoup Recap, where I'm going to talk about all the crypto news that I find interesting. 
Um, not just the algo news, not just any other crypto. It's going to be all the news that I find compelling. And I kind of hinted at some of the stuff that I was going to talk about. Fidelity's got a lot of interesting things happening. There's a lot. There's a lot. We're going to talk about it tomorrow, not today. All right, everybody. Hey, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. Do your homework.